Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. I've got a couple of images to go over, not a video, so this should be, should be short. So, a couple of screenshots were sent to me uh, this morning. <clears throat> Just wanted to go over these. And uh, I really need to get a colors harness in here so I can show you uh, a better technique. But what I'm going to do is use my pike pole here. So, you have your you have your left hand uh, army requires the left hand be on the staff at the harness socket all right just like they're doing here however what they're doing if you can see here their thumb there that's better darker background there there the the thumbs for the color bearers are in front and they're actually kind of cupping below almost and it looks like yeah those look like those plastic harnesses or the uh, uh, the straps are cloth but the the frame it looks like a kind of a shield and then there's a plastic cup there and those are uh, and this is this me is no disrespect meant to the team or whoever bought it they're junk quite frankly they're absolute junk can't stand them absolutely can't stand those harnesses they're absolutely awful so the the harness comes into the frame at the top and at the side so they're less adjustable uh, in the extreme uh, especially uh, lengthening when you have the harness I really all right so I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna go out to my trailer I'm gonna go get a colors harness all right so I carry all my my equipment around in a, a trailer, the Drill Master trailer. All right, so here's what the preferred harness for everybody is, and I I have uh, several of these harnesses because of the training that I do. So uh, you can see that the harness straps attach much higher. Here's, and we'll get to this in just a moment, but the straps t attach much higher than the, the frame for the, uh, uh, the, the socket here. And this is brand new, never been used, just out of the bag. So this is what you want, honestly. Any, there's even ones that are sold that look just like this, but these portions here of the strap attach down here and they're less adjustable plus it just completely screws up the balance honestly of this it there's just something completely wrong about this type of harness that you see in the in the photo and then also these with the uh this is called a double harness glendale parade store uh, i'm pretty sure that's all almost the only place that you can get them um uh, mill bar as well mill-bar.com and uh, parade store uh, or glendale actually they've they've changed uh, glendale.com but this is uh this is it this is exactly what you want so now you can <clears throat> see here this is the 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 harness uh socket frame and this is the socket the socket has a little hole at the bottom and i don't have no i don't i don't uh crud all right, so I'm going to pause again, and I will get the bottom of a flagstaff. It pays to use visual aids. All right, so you can see here, I'll get this closer to, you can see that the the this is the lower ferrule, this metal tip here uh, on the, the, the uh, flagstaff. That's called the ferrule, the lower ferrule. It's spelled with two R's. All right, so here you can see that the tip... Uh, the pointed tip goes right through the socket through that bottom hole there and that's exactly what it's supposed to do this is what it's what was the, the whole system was designed for this now the harness socket and i'll use my pike pole again the socket is this is the blunt end of the of the pike pole the the socket is is wider so that you can also put 
uh, other flagstaffs in and uh, the manufacturer did a great job I, I think that's exactly what you're supposed to do give people options however using those brown staffs with the the blunt end here just like this um, those are, aren't the authorized flagstaffs only these flagstaffs light ash wood uh, silver metal <clears throat> They're the only ones authorized. Now, when we get into uh, uh, Navy and Coast Guard, then it's actually gold medal, and they have the battle axe. But then they also have to have the silver medal with the flat spade, just in case they do any joint work. So it gets a little bit complicated. But anyway, so when you have when you have your left hand here. You, you need to put your hand around the harness uh, socket and then around the, the bottom of the staff. This is how you hold it. The thumb in front makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's, it's not a, a good grip. You actually have to keep your hand pressed against the socket in order to do anything. But you're not really doing anything. The thumb is what makes a, a complete world of difference. So take the thumb, move it back. Now you're able to pull down just slightly and even rest the hand there if you want to. But in case you have strong winds, then you'll, you're able to pull down in two places and steady the, the flagstaff. So I have, I have way too many visual aids here. Okay. I'll, I'll get that in a minute. So the thumb in front, don't do it. It doesn't make sense. So now you're probably going to say, well, the training circular shows images. I know. The training circular drawings are unbelievably bad in many, many ways. It's just a two-dimensional drawing trying to depict a three-dimensional image. For the... Uh, for the uh, uh, the image that shows Carrie, what where these uh, cadets are, the color bearers here, for the image that shows Carrie, you see the th I think it's the thumb in front. But then when you when you see present the thumb the, in the drawing, the thumb look looks like it's behind. So are you supposed to switch your thumb? That there's that doesn't make any sense at all. What makes sense is to grab the, the, the staff with the thumb behind and then all the time, whether you're at present, whether you're at carry, it doesn't matter, honestly. The thumb behind is the proper grip. Now, I know the, uh, the, the colors are cased here. The team is going through the motions. They're, they're rehearsing, and that's fine. But if you're going to rehearse uh, in a some sort of uniform for ceremonial guardsmen we always perform uh in our ceremonial complete ceremonial uniform but when we're rehearsing when we show up before and i'm so glad the team did this this is great this shows uh really good training however uh when ceremonial guardsmen perf uh, go into rehearse they're in a travel uniform uh, the fallout uniform uh, so and that's just the the light jacket lightweight jacket whether regardless of the the time of of year it's still always the lightweight jacket and that probably would have been a better option if you do have the lightweight jacket but if you don't then take the uh take the blouse off and just go through uh uh because yeah it you've got one guard with uh 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 with the ascot and one guard with the belt you've so it, it you, you've got a mixture here of of uh uniform items and it really doesn't communicate well to everybody who might be around you know there's people setting up uh it looks like a graduation ceremony here uh so you you really should be all uniform all the time but i'm really happy that the team is uh practicing here that's that's great so technique here you can see the uh, uh, the right right rifle guard is doing this not even 
uh, so the left rifle guard has that nice circle, got the split there with the index finger and the middle finger. Um, but uh, everything else, the spacing is nice. It's a little bit wide, uh, but at least it's consistent, and that's fine. That's okay. Uh, usually color guards are going to be uh, uh, at uh, close interval. Now, if you came in, at in a column formation and then turned to the left <coughs> you probably don't know the technique of smushing up together uh, which is something uh, for another video all right so then let's get to the other image I'm guessing this is the same school same color guard it looks like it uh, with the ascots there so you have uh, uh, going back to the other it looks like maybe that might be a belt buckle in there. Just maybe might be a belt buckle, but I'm not exactly sure. So, uh, but then looking here, you have color bearers without a belt buckle or a belt, and then uh, guards with the belt. And it looks like the guards are wearing their their web belt uh, over not above but over the uniform belt so the uniform belts here and then they're wearing the the uh, web belt just like this instead of like this <clears throat> so when you have a blouse on and i know uh, many people call the the uniform top here a jacket it's technically not a jacket a uh, jacket is worn for inclement weather whether it's it's colder or wetter outside there's the rain jacket a cold weather jacket uh, here, this is technically a blouse. So blouse is a, a, a top garment that doesn't get tucked in. So uh, when you wear the blouse, though, uh, you don't wear the belt where you wear your uniform belt. Um, so the uniform belt is uh, in the... And, and actually, uh, many times, uh, I, I never wore a uniform belt when I was uh, uh, in my ceremonials or even actually in uh, my, my blues uniform because I didn't want that bump there of the belt buckle. And you can turn the, uh, the belt uh, over to the side so that the belt buckle is uh, kind of under your, the, the right rib cage or right part of the rib cage. But uh, here, the, the belt is supposed to be worn over the bottom button between the bottom two buttons no over the last button that's right so it's uh, kind of weird to remember the 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 uniform with the three the the horrible air force uniform with the three buttons you wear it in between <clears throat> i think golly so anyway um here at the the belts are the the two belts that the guards are wearing actually everybody needs to wear a belt uh so uh the the belts that the guards are wearing they're below the all of the uniform buttons here on the blouse and that's not the the proper wear um and i i do have posts on social media about uh belts and i go over it in a couple of my books as well so uh I, I actually have to uh, spin myself back up on that. Uh, and I, I actually didn't know I'd be talking about belts today. But uh, uh, here, the harness is much, much lower than the, uh, the, the Florida harness. And I, I guess why you're carrying the, the Florida flag, the state flag, but you really should be carrying the Army Jirazi flag or even the Army departmental flag. <clears throat> so uh but the harnesses are are on purpose making uh the american flag be carried higher and the state flag lower and that's that there's no reason to do that here you, the the height difference is is minimal uh but you could have adjusted the harnesses to where they're at the same level and uh the american flag always must always be either carried higher or displayed higher or something like that that's all a myth that has nothing to do with reality the the harnesses should be this harness the american flag harness should be a, a bit lower and the, the florida harness should be a bit higher but replacing the uh, uh 
the organizational flag with a state flag is not what we do. Uh, that's that's the the standard makeup of a military color guard is the U.S. flag bearer, the organizational flag bearer, and then the two guards. Uh, minimum is no uh, no no other organizational bear it's just the two guards and the u.s bear that's minimum but standard is the uh is the org bear coming in there and you you can't really obviously you can replace the organizational flag uh, but you're not supposed to it's not protocol it's not what uh the uh, the services do all of them really uh, so anyway um not not bad it it looks like the the guards are doing this they have a kind of an l shape there <clears throat> on the uh at present like they're like they're kind of doing this type of thing and when really uh, in, instead of doing something like this it should be like this so that your hand is a little more flat and I know that that's kind of splitting hairs, but anyway. Um, so 16 minutes, not too bad going over two photos. And uh, that's the critique. Thanks very much for sending it in.